Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play at the same end. When we left off, I had more hair, but I got a haircut because it was starting to bother me a little bit. Anyways, we just read the same man's diary, and man oh man, does it make you feel bad for him. He can't sleep because the world is spherical, and it continues on a rotation where half the world is asleep, half the world isn't, and so he has to stay up forever and ever because of the hardworking fairy, and there's nothing we can really do about it because we're trying to stop him. I don't know how this is going to end. I don't feel like he's a bad guy, though. I just don't know what we're going to do. Ooh, I want to look at this telescope. A very large telescopey thing. Ah, oh, yeah, let's look inside. It's the town, so you can see my world from here. Was the Sandman watching all along? Go on, Sophie. Do what you want to do. What if I just want to lay in this bed and sleep? Oh, never mind. Oh, it's... They padded it back up, huh? Um, I don't know what else I can really do. Maybe that main door's open now? It's either that or we gotta go back outside and talk to the unicorn or something. But... I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Let me go backwards. I am going the wrong way. At least for where I want to be. Uh, magic mirror... Long corridor? Yeah! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Wait, there's a letter there! Right here! A letter. Huh? I can read this without the glasses. It's just plain English. Uh, to my mere dis- to my- my mere dis Grundler? Let's try that again. To my dear Miss Grundler, I presume you are well. While we have passed each other many a time, unfortunately it would appear that we have been unable to understand each other. I have prepared a special sleeping sand for you. Surely with this sand, even you will be able to slumber. I shall be waiting at the top of the castle. I hope you will not run away. The stairs are very old and full of holes. Please take care not to hurt yourself, my dear. Sandman. Sandman. We got his letter. Okay. I, I feel like I'm reaching a conclusion here. Is this good? I, I guess we'll just go with it. We'll go upstairs. He, he did tell me about the holes, didn't he? Nobody say a word, okay? Nobody say a word. Not my fault. I didn't think I would slip through a crack that small. Okay, so I gotta like freaking one at a time here. Whew. Why was that so nerve wracking? I don't even know. All right, Sandman, there you are. How is this gonna end? What's gonna happen? Sandman. Yeah, I still don't know what you're saying, though. It was hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand. I've been suffering the same way. What if they just threw sand at each other at the exact same time and they just both fall asleep? And that's the end of this entire series. It's not gonna happen. Really? I'd want to be put to sleep, too. I've wondered how, long, how good it could be to forget all the bad things in sleep. But... I don't want to sleep forever. I want to wake up, even if it might be a bad day. I'm sorry I can't understand, Sandman. But this is the only thing I can do. Uh, we about to fight? We about to throw down with the Sandman? Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! Oh, we're, we're duking it out! Ah! I'm not doing anything to him. He's hitting me more than I'm hitting him. Oh, jeez. He's going to win. He's going to win. Huh. Oh. Oh. We're down to 10? What? What? What was I supposed to do? There's a timer there. Huh? Did I, I killed him. I didn't mean to kill him. Sin, man? Oh, I did bad. I did bad, didn't I? Sophie? What, what? You killed Sin? I didn't mean to kill him! What was that timer for? Oh! You wanted me to pick the sand and throw it in his face when he got down to 10. Didn't you? How was I supposed to know that was all I was supposed to do? Man, I killed him! 
This is a bad ending. I know it. I killed him. I I killed the Sandman. I killed a fairy. Why? Why did this happen? What should I have done? Threw sand in his face. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Sandman. Lullaby's gonna kill us or something. No, that's not it. It's Sandman's fault. Because he put humans to sleep forever. Because he was so selfish. So, I haven't done anything. I've done nothing wrong. It's always been like that. I do nothing wrong but put up with so much. That's what irritates me. Makes me sleepless. Yes. It's all their fault. She going a little bit crazy. Will you go back to your world, Sophie? Lullaby. You'll grant my wishes, right? What do you want? Don't you know? Sing me a lullaby now. Like you sang in the human world. Wait, what? So you killed the Saiyan man and then you want to be put to sleep anyways? The Tooth Fairy's mad. You've stopped up work, he says. Just ignore that washed up fairy. Am I? Who are you? Do you want to see this view too? It's really quite beautiful. All those selfish fools sleeping with such idiotic faces. And they'll never wake up. Never. She made herself a freaking witch. It feels truly wonderful. Watching them makes my heart bound. Lullaby, the songs you sang won't put me to sleep. To take revenge, I have to do it myself. Yes, this is revenge. Revenge on those who took sleep from me. Why haven't you vanished, Lullaby? The Sandman's gone. I can't disappear until you sleep. Fool. I'll never sleep, and the night will never end. You granted my wishes, yes? I won't sleep anymore. The dawn will never come. Oh, snap, she looks evil. No one will get in my way. Well, of course not. There's nobody there to get in your way. I will live forever in this world of night. In place of that imbecile Sandman, whose love of humans killed him. Yeah, that's a bad ending. Queen of the Night. Bad end one. Well, we knew it wasn't going to be perfect all the time. But that's kind of interesting. Okay. So, don't kill him. Eh. Eh. I don't know how she turned into a witch anyway. It's like, look at her. She doesn't even look that deadly. She's like 12. Ow. Oh, he's, he's knocking the crap out of me. Oh, jeez. We're about down to 30. I know. I, I have to get him to 10. Ah! Okay. Now. Now, item. Items and sleeping sand. That's got to be it. This is what you have to do, right? Sleep. Close your eyes. Don't die. Yes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Down. Yes. Whew. We didn't kill him, at least. Oh, God. Good night, Sandman. You don't have to put up with it anymore. Take a nice rest. Is this butt going up and down when he breathes? That's kind of awkward. Sophie. Watch her turn into a witch anyways. You put Sandman to sleep? And I didn't kill him this time. I couldn't kill him. Well, I could. He put up with so much for humans. He just wanted to sleep. How long will he sleep? Who knows? He was up for centuries straight. Maybe he'll sleep for centuries too. I see. What is it, Sophie? Maybe it was all that effort. But I feel really sleepy now. 
You were throwing sleeping sand all... <laughs> okay. You guys just sleep on the roof. It's no good. I'm just too sleepy. If I fall asleep now... If I can't wake everyone up... Will all the humans die in their sleep? No, they won't die. Time has stopped for them. They'll just keep sleeping. That's good. I don't like that for them part though. If I... If I can wake up... I won't just put up with the bad things. I'll get back at Reagan. And I'll tell Anne a thing or two. And Papa, I'll apologize to him. And also, I'll... I'll try to be friends with David. I'm sad I never even told him. But now, we can be friends. I just want to have fun with him. I wonder if David thinks of me as his friend. Of course. You should know best how nice he is. There's so much I've wanted to do. I want to think about tomorrow, but I'm too sleepy to stay up. Say what? Uh, that's weird. Ma Is that your mom? Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. Don't fear the monsters in the closet. I'll be right here. Did you say your prayers before bed? But I haven't heard you say it yet. Say it, Sophie. Okay. Good night, Mama. Is that your prayer? What kind of weird prayer? Oh, this is like so bittersweet. And now Lullaby can go away because she slept. Oh. And now everybody in the world is asleep. That we know of, at least. There may be a couple stragglers here and there. Say man's out. Oh, he woke up! His eyes aren't bloodshot anymore. <clears throat> How long did you sleep exactly, Sandman? I guess it doesn't matter, technically. Whoa! Feel better? What's he gonna do now? Morning? Am I back? Was it all a dream? Oh, I can move. Okay. The desk clock ticks on. Do I need to change clothes? Okay. Oh, Dad's here. Papa? Weren't you staying at work? Morning, Sophie. I was working, but... I fell asleep. I just got back now. Yeah, dragon kills you. Hmm. Wait, Sophie. Is there something you want to tell me? How do you know that? What? What was that call from the school about? I've never gotten a call from Sister Mary before. What in the world happened? 
You didn't do something bad, did you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Listen, Sophie, I, I said I don't know. What? I didn't do anything wrong. Why did you get called? Just think about it. But not like you would know. That's right, you wouldn't know. Because you never pay attention to me. Just work, 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 never spending time with me. When was the last time we ate together? When did you last say good night or good morning? You've never even done that for me. I, I, I'm not a good kid. Because my selfishness made you, made you push yourself again. Sophie. I thought she was going to make up with her dad. Oh, it's time to get the girls on. Slap her. Oh, no, that's not good, Sophie. Your hair's all red. Did you hit your head? Are you bleeding? Oh, you're going to be bleeding straight from your face in a second. Oh, right, that's just a regular color. Silly me. Is she going to say that every single day? Like, kind of gets old. Is your house built on a cliff or what, Regan? Huh? Just look at that hair. It's like you got... Uh, it's like you got in a tornado and the tornado won. But if you live on a windy cliff, that might explain a few things. Like what a blowhard you are. <laughs> Why are they laughing at that? What, what are you girls laughing at? Hey, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into you? I'm the only one who could, you could never show off in front of. You've always been Regan the blubbering crybaby. Y you! Wah! Hey, stop it, you two! What's this all about? M my word, what happened here? That looks awkward. Miss Grundler, Miss Bloomberg, you're coming to my room this instant. You first, Miss Grundler. Not until I get a couple more punches in. I quit being your sandbag. If you make fun of me, I'll pay it back a hundredfold. And nobody's making fun of my mom's red hair. I've decided I'll fix my own problems. I'll do what I can about the bad things. How about you do the same? If you swear to never bully me again, I'll gladly talk it out with you. Like old times. Look at her standing up for herself. Good for you, Sophie. Sophie! Uh-oh. Why? Why did you do that? That's, that's so mean to Regan. Really? That's so mean to Regan, even though Sophie's been teased forever? Does it matter to you, Anne? I'm the one being teased. I, I do care, Sophie. Then why did you only ever watch? You said you were worried, but you just stayed quiet. You were just glad it meant that you, weren't, you wouldn't be a target, weren't you? N no, I, I wanted to help, but... Liar, just tell the truth. Say you were too scared. Sophie. I'm sorry. I'm the, I was the one who told you that. That I was fine, so you shouldn't worry. I really did want someone to help. But I put up with it so you wouldn't worry. I thought you might not be my friend. So I was the liar. But I'm not doing that anymore. I won't let Regan get the better of me. I'll send her insults back and answer if she picks a fight. You might not like that, but if it's okay with you, I'd like us to stay friends. I'm disappointed in you, Miss Grundler. A scuffle in the middle of the classroom. As a young lady, you should be ashamed. While I don't know what happened to myself, such violent behavior is so unbefitting of you. It's like, the, it's like what a little kid would do. Do you remember the passage uh, from Job at my sermon? Enduring suffering is what gives us merit. Hardship is no reason to use force. I'm no saint. Yeah, but that's just justifying the bullying. It's saying that you have to endure it because that's what people do. But why don't they target the person who... Is causing the trouble. Why does somebody just have to endure it? I don't know. I don't understand that. And why is that? I can just grin and bear it. But does that mean I'll be repaid? Greater merit. Am I really just supposed to put up with all the hardship for that? Not even. 
Screw putting up with bad things to be called a saint. I don't want to be a saint. I just want to be human. It's far more important to be able to sleep at night, to do everything I can day by day, and to sleep looking forward to tomorrow. Are you talking back to me, Miss Grundler? Do you think it is right to childishly do as you please? Do you think God would approve? And why can't you be a child? What was it? The kingdom of heaven belongs to tho uh, those such as these? Do not raise such cribbles with me. What I am saying is that your attitude is... I don't mind if God doesn't care for me. Because ever since I was little, I know I've had someone watching over me. I will be telling your father about this. He may be busy with work, but this I cannot overlook. I'm going to have a long talk with him. Do what you will, sister. <laughs> but he won't be available today. I have important business with him. Miss Grudler. Sophie just isn't having nothing from nobody. He's still at home. Hey, you're about to get another call. Papa, did you not go to work? I took the day off. I see. You're about to get a call because, you know, I got in a fight and I should be here. I shouldn't be here because I should be in school, but you're not questioning that at all. Sophie. I, I'm sorry. Um, for not realizing how you felt. I, I thought you hated me. You're in high school now, and I wanted to be close, but I thought you'd be annoyed. I'm busy at work, true, but I convinced myself if I just kept working, you could be happy. But I guess I was misguided. I didn't know how lonely you felt. I'm truly sorry, Sophie. C can you forgive your papa? I'll... I'll be praying for the day I can. Sophie. Oh, oh! I'm sorry for the awful things I did. I love you, Papa. I was scared to sleep in an empty house. I worried over things that were hiding in the closet like I was a little kid. I don't want to be alone. Papa, stay with me. Of course, Sophie. You're my precious daughter. Today is the end of a long, cold war between us. You, you should probably go and take the phone off the hook so it doesn't ring because it's really going to kill the mood. How about we go out for something to eat, Sophie? Sorry, Papa. Hold that thought. There's somewhere else I want to go. Oh, we got to go talk to David. That's right. Ow. Jeez. What you do? I fell asleep watching the TV at your place, so my neck really hurts. No wonder your neck look crooked. <laughs> That's a reference. David. Hey, Sophie, long time no see. Oh, right, I should introduce you. This is Shirley, my fiance. Nice to meet you, Sophie. I've heard about you from David. Hi, Shirley, nice to meet you too. Huh, you seem pretty happy. Something good happened? Punch the girl in the face. Well, there's a lot I want to talk about. A lot happened and a lot changed with Anne, Regan, and Papa. And also, the Sandman. What? <laughs> Sandman? Feels like I've heard that. What was it? He's a fairy, David. A sleep fairy. He used the sand to put people to sleep. Everybody knows that. Duh. God, David. Get on the level. Get on everybody's level. Well, that sounds like lots of fun, Sophie. We're going out to dinner. Do you want to come? You can tell me all about it. Yeah, that sounds great. Sure, let's go. Are you blowing off the time with your father? Hmm. <laughs> Asian pose. Is that the end? Oh, Sandman. Was she posing to him because of that fountain? That's where they were. I wonder. I bet she was. I bet she was sending a message to him. That'd be so sweet. So ends the tale of the Sandman. Made up? Of course it isn't. You remember it, don't you? Though you were asleep, you remember a night that felt like eternity. That night was the night you slept while Sandman stopped time. Now close your eyes and I'll tell you another story tomorrow. Good night, my little dear. 
That's got to be the true ending. That has to be. Happy end. Don't stay up late at night. I guess that's the right one, right? It would say like... I don't know. It would say something else, I would assume. What's up with this music? Is it because Sandman? Enter Sandman? I don't know. That was actually a really good game. It wasn't what I expected from it. It's very, very different from like Mermaid Swamp and the Crooked Man even. Because there's not any like horror elements to it. It was more like fantasy and discovery. And I really like the story. I really like the fact that like Sophie kind of came to terms with her own troubles and faced them as opposed to just quietly letting the world kind of run her life you know she took control of things that she could and i'm not saying every person needs to handle their situations like that but i think she realized that she needed to do something than just sitting there doing nothing which is really really cool i like it i like the the message i like the story it's a cool game and i know that i think the boogeyman is supposed to be the next one that they're making i don't know when it's coming out at all like this is the most recent game that they've released but i think there's a couple they're working on at the same time I like it though. Yuri is the author, so I don't know if that's a boy or girl's name, but Yuri is the person who's made these. There are some other ones. I can play some older games, but like I said, I've been trying. I, I will be playing some older games as well, but I've been trying to kind of play more recent games, maybe ones that you guys haven't seen as frequently on at least YouTube and everything like that. So that's the end. We did it. Whoa. Congratulations on being the Sandman. Thank you for playing. To those who have played the Crooked Man, you have my additional thanks. Gim has differed in every way from his predecessor. Apologies to those who are expecting a the Crooked Man-like story, but I've been planning this since the starting the last game, and I'm very glad to have finished it. The Whatever Man series will continue on. So, Boogeyman. The story and mood will differ depending on the man, so I hope people will play the next entry. Again, congratulations. Thank you for playing. Oh, I'm like a little dusting. Okay. View fairy encyclopedia? Oh. That's what she looks like? Had <laughs> the tooth fairy. That's amazing. Unicorn loves girls in love, always watching them. Very brutal with most humans, even murderous. I bet Unicorn would have killed me if uh I tried to take her er, if I gave him the fake stone. There's the dwarf. There's dust. Okay. Oh, the same man. He looks so much better without bloodshot eyes. His eyes are red during the story due to lack of sleep. Though smart, he can be stubborn and careless. Gave up on sending humans to eternal sleep, but now can't sleep for a different reason. Oh. Okay. This bed leads to a bonus scenario. It mostly It's mostly scenes without much moving around, but you can see the story from a different perspective. There are more bonuses after beating it. Uh, it should take about an hour to go through. I recommend those who want all the plot. It will no doubt make you go, what the heck? Sure. Okay. I'll play a bonus scenario. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave that. Okay. Maybe not. I might have to keep going until I can stop. Oh, hi, Sandman. Oh, God. No time for nodding off. Work, work. Lots of people wanting sleep. Sand time, sand time. Same as job. Take the sacks from the table and drop them into the holes. Put bags in the holes flashing on the map to sprinkle those places with sand. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop it. Good God, it's so loud. Okay, I'm gonna stop it here. We'll have to play this bonus scenario next time. Maybe do two, two or three episodes on that. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. That alarm is getting on my nerves. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next MAMJ. Let's play. The Tooth Fairy and... Yeah. Tooth Fairy and Nixie, what are you two doing here? Hey, Sophie, we're just sitting down to tea. Isn't this the same as house? Can you just come inside like that? Can't you come inside and go as you please? Same as house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy and such great tea, too. Tea with Nixie's a bore, but the worst not here. I guess the tea's good enough that I can tolerate an old water wench, eh? Say what, you toothless grandpa? Same to you. I don't want to drink tea with a coot. I just have no choice with no handsome men around. Hee <laughs> hee. Why are you hee heeing at me? I'm not a handsome man. 